Hey everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Epic Arma. Something very special has happened today, people. The Star Wars mod for Arma 3 has been updated. If you look in the sky, there we see a beautiful, beautiful dreadnought from the First Order. And yes, this here is supposed to be Jakku. I made this uh, today. And over here, look. We have stormtroopers from the first mother flippin' order. Not only that, look who's here! It is Kylo Ren. And yes, he is playable, uh, complete with force push and force choke abilities. And uh, as I said, because this was released today, I wanted to make uh, just a few uh, showcase missions so you can expect more missions uh, over this uh, coming week uh, that. Um, well, you know, won't really have cutscenes or stuff in them, but they're just to showcase them. For example, I can already spoil that the next mission that we'll make uh, is definitely for fans of the game Republic Commando. So if that sounds like that's your thing, definitely check out the next episode, which will probably come out on Friday. Uh, now, the village uh, that I have set up is being defended by the Resistance. I'm not really trying to recreate or recreate the uh, scene from the movie. That's also at night. I didn't want to do it at night because, uh, you know, you wouldn't see it as much. So, just the story is here. The First Order is here to uh, take something, uh, like, like the map for Skywalker or whatever, and we actually have to go into this house. It will be in this torture droid. Uh, not that it makes a lot of sense, but then after that, uh, we will have to hold out as the resistance do a counterattack. So it's right here, and then we do a counterattack. We will be playing as Kylo the first time, then a regular stormtrooper the second time, and then when we all is over, we will be as a flame trooper and set the village ablaze as we evacuate. All right, guys, so we are here. Please, for the love of God, someone tell me in the comments what file of the ace I need to delete to get this whitening of the screen gone, because I hate it. I had it before, too, and someone did give me the correct thing to delete, but I forgot what it was. It's really annoying. I thought it was, like, medical PBO, but I tried to delete that. It didn't change anything. Anyway. So here we are. So I'll show you that force push. Which actually didn't look that spectacular, but it also works on tiny things. Oh, we have a TIE Fighter. There. You can see some of the physics actually at work. We have some TIE Fighters. Those are First Order as well. There we have the X-Wings from the First Order. And also, I put a planet. I realized that that is not correct compared to the Jakku. Um, but I wanted to put them in there. All right. Let's go chop this resistance dude down. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Again, if, if the AI was controlling Kylo, the AI would not be able to either use the Force or the lightsaber. But the fact that the physics actually do work on some of the tiny things, I think, is amazing. Playing this with multiple people uh, would really, really be cool. And yes, in case you want to know, I will be doing some of the upcoming missions with other people. Oh, I guess I can't get up here. So, Oh, actually, let's show you the Force choke. Die, resistant scum. There you go. That's really, really dope. A lot of new things in this new version. If you want to see a overview, please let me know. I didn't do that before, and that was because there was some drama involved with this this mod and like stolen. Or, well, people claimed there were stuff stolen or without permission or blah blah blah. And I had an earlier version. Now, this time, that was not the case. I just got the public version just like everybody else. Especially because people thought, like, I was associated with it, which I was not, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, because of that, I wanted to refrain from actually making a showcase. But that's not the case now. So, if you want to see uh, a showcase, then just let me know. Let's actually do... Another force choke. The eyes here are not, uh, hope. Oh. There we go. As you can see, it doesn't work perfectly. But yeah, some of the really cool, new cool things. So, for example, the ATTE has been added, not as a uh, movable vehicle, but as a turret, which I don't mind. I love it. And, of course, in case you're thinking, um, the, uh, I will implement all those new things in the Star Wars vs. Earth series as well. Some people thought that the last episode was the final one. That's not the case. It's just that the Denmark saga, however you want to call it, is done. Now we're going to the next one. And as you can see, we have a lot of new units, a lot of new vehicles as well. 
Again, with the looming dreadnoughts. Again, that's a, also just a static vehicle. doesn't actually do anything. Let's, let's force push this fool. And it actually does hurt him. don't know if he's dead, though. Yep. Alright, let's head into the house. Let's get the thing, and let's actually then play as a stormtrooper. Bang. Oh, well, <laughs> as you can see, that doesn't really work too well. Oh! Oh, damn. Kylo, what did you do? Dear God. And here we go. Here we have the map for some reason. Alright. So, now that we have the map, don't ask questions why it was in there. Now the counterattack starts from the resistance. Here we have Kylo Ren. Again, as I said before, he will be useless. The AI will not do anything with him. There we got some TIE Fighters again. They're just kind of like the recycled thing. I redid the mission, but just put all the uh, units here. There's the incinerator. I actually don't know if the incinerator, or if the AI can use the incinerator. This dude is just chilling. He's not doing anything. He looks cool though, don't you think? The models look amazing. But yeah, again, if someone knows how to get rid of that white uh, thing, if you get hit, please let me know. Again, it has happened, like, someone let me know. I, I searched through the comments, but I couldn't find it. There's a PVO file I need to delete and to get rid of that, but I don't know which one. I try to Google it. Yeah, this shit I'm talking about. So it's kind of, kind of like the suppression effect. It's really annoying. It might be fun in multiplayer, but in single player stuff, it is... Damn annoying. Oh. oh, I was hit. Don't worry, we got some other other units to change to. I'm gonna be killed a lot actually. Oh, what the hell? Oh, here we got Kylo proned. See if we can hold. We lost a lot of units. Those are fighting over there. Oh! Doing the Stormtrooper aim some justice over here. There we go. I actually have it on full auto. We'll use it. Grenade out! Got him. I love the sound it makes if you reload. There we go. Ugh! Oh, got hit. I don't know if I'm dead though. Might be bleeding or whatever. That's a stupid thing too with Ace. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm just... Just wounded, I guess. I can't run now, though. Probably losing blood. Yeah, there it is. Got him. Oh, wow, a lot of them went to like, the outer lines. I'm not sure what they're doing there. They might be retreating. Victory might be ours. I might say that as I get shot. But. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Kylo. They added some more Jedi, too. They added uh, Luke Skywalker. They added Anakin, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we can have some cool uh, Jedi battles. Hope we have some multiplayer. Alright, but I think, I mean, there are still a few guys over there, but they're, yeah, as you can see, they're being pushed over there. I think we can call this a victory. Now, let's torch this place and go home. Alright, guys, here we are as the Flame Trooper. Again, it doesn't really seem like the AI can use it, but we can, so let's burn all of this. Yeah! Really, really cool. Again, as you can see, the fire doesn't actually stay long, but it is a very, very cool effect. It was actually already in there. If you were, for example, Django Fett, you could use this as, uh, on his arm, so it's not necessarily new. It's Ow, what the fuck? Oh, I might have actually hurt some of my own <laughs> units, <laughs> and they shot me, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I actually had a, a pretty fun, like, ending. Thought of, so hold on. I, it doesn't actually need... The, uh, the flame trooper. It, I do need to get rid of these resistance units though, so come on, stormtroopers. Is that a head? Oh, 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 I guess they can use the flame or something. What the hell? I don't know what killed me. Fire, obviously, but I don't know where it came from. That was interesting. Also, one of the really cool additions are, for example, the droidica. Uh, again, turret. It won't move. But still the addition of it. it does work. It is destroyable and it fires and it is hella tough. If you encounter a droidica and look. I don't remember if the Millennium Falcon was already in a previous version or not. It might have been. I think it was. But I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know where to enter though. You enter somewhere. Here we go. Yeah! This is it! I don't think they have Han Solo in here. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. But they do have Chewbacca, so we could do some uh, Han Soloing. Ooh, shit, boy! Oh, just look how amazing it is. It's actually a little bit too big to where I cannot really move the camera to see around very well. <laughs> hella fast though all right guys that was it so thanks so much for watching expect a few more of these like short missions uh, coming up uh, very different to like I said Republic Commando we're gonna have some other very very cool stuff if you guys have some tips or like uh, maybe some suggestions for Star Wars scenarios please let me know and I'll see if I can make it with all the new updates and with that crash I'll see you guys next time